So last August, NASA launched the Parker Solar Probe, which will fly closer to the sun than any other spacecraft before. Now, scientists are publishing their first findings based on data that the Parker Probe has sent back to Earth. It's pretty cool stuff. If you've got a minute, I'll explain some of the initial takeaways that they're finding. You've probably heard of solar winds, but before we could only analyze solar winds from Earth. With Parker, we're able to look closer to the source, and it turns out they're much more turbulent than we thought. Not only that, but Parker was able to detect instances when the solar winds actually reverse direction and travel back toward the sun. They're calling these switchbacks, but at this point, they don't fully understand what's causing them. Something else very interesting, Parker was able to detect the beginning of the elusive dust-free zone around the sun. There's dust all over our solar system, leftover bits from collisions between celestial bodies, except for a region around the sun. For the first time ever, Parker captured images that showed the dust field beginning to thin at 7 million miles away from the sun. They now believe that the dust-free zone starts somewhere around 2 to 3 million miles away from the sun, which Parker is expected to reach sometime in 2020.